Aveli Jina and welcome to my channel. My name is Ludi and today we're gonna do our EU4 trade guide. In this guide we'll be discussing the trade nodes, the trade power and mercantilism, trade value and how to increase it in your trade nodes, merchants, trade companies and how to maximize profit from trade. Before we start the video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like, commented, and subscribed, as well as left the bell button on to get notified whenever I release new guides. If we get this video to 1000 likes, then I am going to do a giveaway for an EU4 DLC or the base game if you don't have it. The trade system in EU4 is represented by trade nodes. There are two types of trade nodes in the game, namely end trade nodes, which are nodes where you don't have any outflowing trade from. That means that you only get trade from other parts of the world and you get to keep all of that trade plus the trade that comes from your own provinces. And we also have non end trade nodes where you have trade that both flows into the trade area as well as flows out of the trade area. That means that trade from these nodes do not stay here. For example, in the Ragusa trade node, we have 49% that is retained in the trade node and 51% that is pulled forward towards the other parts of the world. In an end trade node such as Venice, 100% of the trade is retained and we also get percentages of the trade from the other trade nodes which flow into the Venetian trade node. Currently, as of 1.30, there are only three end trade nodes namely the Genoa, Venice and the English Channel trade nodes and these are definitely the most valuable trade nodes in the game as it is not possible to lose trade from these provinces. Trade power is the percentage of a trade node that belongs to you. So for example in the English Channel we start off with 51% of the English Channel that means 50% of this trade node is gonna be our income and as such we get 7.31 ducats since this channel is worth 13.3 ducats. Do take into account that the amount of money that you get from a trade node is not just the trade value, but also the trade efficiency. So for example, because we have 2% trade efficiency, we are getting 2% more than the amount of trade in this trade node. This is however definitely determined first and foremost by our trade power here. Trade power can also be used to transfer trade from other trade nodes into the trade node where we are collecting. So for example, we are transferring 0.78 ducats towards the Genoa trade node which is the default node for the Champagne trade node to transfer in. We however want to transfer this into the English trade node which is where we are collecting from so in order to do that we're gonna need one more merchant but our merchants are currently busy transferring from the North Sea as well as the Lubeck trade areas. We are transferring one ducat towards the English channel from the Lubeck area and 0.81 ducats from the North Sea channel. We could switch over this merchant from the North Sea into the Champagne but we don't have enough enough trade power here to switch over. As such, we will be keeping the merchant in the North Sea trade node. There are a few ways through which we can increase the trade power in a trade node. The easiest would be to simply assign your light ships to protect the trade in that trade node. This is gonna cost us maintenance, so sometimes it might not be worth it, but in other areas it might be worth it. For example, if we send our ships to Lubeck, we'd be getting a profit of 0.18 ducats, as this will increase the amount of money that we will be transferring from the Lubeck trade area into the English channel. Another great way to increase our value is to have high mercantilism. The higher the mercantilism, the higher the provincial trade power modifier that we get for all of our provinces, as well as the embargo efficiency and the burgers loyalty equilibrium. This means that for 25% mercantilism, we get 50% trade power modifier. If you own the Emperor DLC, you can give out monopolies and each monopoly privilege that you give increases your mercantilism by one every 10 years. So after 10 years, you can renew these privileges and when you renew them, you get one more mercantilism each time. The English actually have the ability of getting four mercantilism from the very beginning and an extra 10 after you change your king if you own the port of Calais. It's easy for the English to get 100% mercantilism before the end of the 16th century. Another way to increase mercantilism is to spend 100 diplo points for one mercantilism. I gave myself 100 mercantilism to show you guys what it is like like having plus 200 provincial trade power modifiers with the starting provinces without any extra development added. We managed to increase our trade power in the English Channel by 15%, which is a massive amount. This means that we are now getting 16.20 ducats a month. 16.47, however, is not 66% of the trade node, but this is also influenced by the fact that we now have a bonus of 20% to our trade since we are ahead of tech in Diplotech. As such, trade efficiency is a 
extremely important as it gives you a boost to whatever you're collecting from the trade nodes. Another really easy way of increasing your trade power is to simply upgrade your centers of trade. This will also lower the development cost as well as spread institutions. And if you upgrade these to a world port or a world trade center, which is a level three center of trade, you get plus one number of buildings sailors dev cost navy tradition dk you get a lot of boosts besides the trade power by simply upgrading one of our centers of trade to a level three trade node we got four percent more to our trade power in the english channel another really easy way of increasing your trade value is by building specific buildings such as the marketplace trade depot or stock exchange each of which replaces the other one and increases your trade power considerably if you set up a trade company you will also get trade company Company specific buildings such as the company warehouse and the company depot trade value is basically how much a trade node is producing and this is directly diverted from the provinces that are part of said trade node so for example the Constantinople trade node includes these provinces here and it's worth 7.2 ducats as this is exactly how much production we have in these provinces this is of course also influenced by the cost of the goods which are being produced here so for example we are producing life stock which is worth two ducats per livestock unit cloth which is worth three ducats but we're also producing silk which is worth four ducats and grain which is worth 2.5 ducats now do take into account the fact that each of these products will cost less or more as the game progresses since various events will trigger and the trade goods will change their prices the province of Edirne is producing cloth and these cloth units are worth three ducats per cloth unit we are producing one 1.1 cloth units actually we are producing one cloth unit but because we have the goods produced efficiency plus 10.1 percent because of nearby merchant republics trading cities or trade companies as well as having a trade company established in the trade area which gives us a 10 percent boost one unit production of cloth means five base production if we are to increase the base production say we dev this up to 10 that means we're going to be producing two units of cloth and because of the 10 percent bonus Bonus, we're actually producing 2.2 units as such the trade value in this trade node is going to increase after one month has passed and as you can see one month later we have a 0.4 increase in the trade value of the Constantinople trade node simply from developing this province five times its base production there are buildings which actually increase the base production as well as the production efficiency one most important building is the manufacturer which improves your province it produces plus one local goods which is exactly five base production that means you are devving up the province five times when you build this one building here a couple more buildings which help out are the workshop and the upgraded version which is the counting house which also give a 100% boost to your production efficiency so if we are producing two cloth after we've built the workshop we'll be producing three and after we've built the counting house we're gonna be producing four cloth with the same amount of development what this means is that you should prioritize building workshops and counting houses as soon as you can if you have established a trade company you also can get more local goods produced by building the broker's office as well as the broker's exchange which is the upgraded version and this also gives you production efficiency so having these buildings in a trade company is almost mandatory one more thing that influences the value of your trade areas is basically the goods produce modifier there are certain countries that start off with the goods produce modifier as part of their national ideas such as neapolis but if you don't get it from the national ideas you can get it from mixing up some policies such as mixing up the trade ideas with the religious ideas policy gives you an extra 10% boost the best way however to boost up your goods produce modifier is building furnaces furnaces are late game buildings which require coal and each furnace you build increases plus 5% goods produce modifier for your whole nation not just that province however the amount of provinces that can produce coal are very few and very scattered around the map you can see them when you go to the trade map mode it's going to show an icon of coal in the background and in order to unlock this coal you need to have the province at at least 20 dev and have enlightened present merchants are a really important part of any nation as we need to use our merchants in order to either transfer or collect trade from the various trade nodes the easiest way to get merchants is basically to go for trade ideas that's going to give you three merchants by filling up the entire ideas as well as give you extra caravan power trade steering trade efficiency trade range and global trade power but if you don't
don't want to waste an entire idea slot for this, then you can get merchants in other ways also. One of the most common ways is establishing trade companies and each trade company is going to give you a merchant once it has 51% or above of the trade power in a particular trade node. So for example, because of our merchant company, Constantinople trade area has 82%, we are getting a merchant from that. Another good way of getting merchants is having colonies. Each colony that has above 10 provinces gives you a merchant automatically also. Do take note that you cannot make trade companies everywhere. You can only make trade companies if the provinces you are targeting are not part of the same continent as you. So for example, you cannot make any European parts here a trade company as your capital is in Venice, but you can make Middle Eastern, Asian and so on provinces into trade companies since they are not part of the European continent. One more thing to take note of is that a trade company cannot become a state, so you are going to be stuck with 90% autonomy in that company's province. You also have special buildings as I've previously shown, which either give you defensiveness and supply limit, trade power and production efficiency, goods produced and production efficiency, or local development reduction and local tax increase, as well as you have some special buildings for each of these four sections that you can build once in each state. Once you have a merchant in a specific trade node, you have some merchant interactions that you can use such as the trade power increase one or the spy network construction plus 25, improve inland routes which gives you plus 10 siege ability and plus one artillery bonus versus forts or the improved relations with the various nations in the trade node or around the trade node as well as propagate religion if you are in the Muslim religion group which helps you convert the provinces to your religion. Do take note that you need to have above 50% of the trade power in the specific trade node to get the propagate religion interaction when you are a Muslim nation. When it comes to maximizing the trade profit it really depends on a few factors and it's not always going to be the same thing. If you can and if you have a long game then you should definitely move your trade capital to either the Genoa Venice or the English Channel trade nodes as these are the most powerful trade nodes in the game and it should filter in the income from the other adjacent provinces towards these trade nodes but if this is not feasible then you can also set up your home trade node in another good trade area such as the Constantinople or the Lubeck trade node as well as other trade nodes which have a fewer outgoing trade so for example in Constantinople we have three incoming trade areas and one outgoing that's going towards the Ragusa trade node because we have 84% of this trade area which is basically the highest amount right now we are transferring 6.43 to the Ragusa trade node but this is not optimal even though the Ragusa trade node is still transferring this into the Venice trade node and we're collecting 17 ducats from the Venice trade node we are still losing a lot of money by transferring from the Constantinople trade node if we switch this guy over to collect trade instead of transferring we are actually collecting 7.96 ducats from the Constantinople trade node instead of transferring six ducats which at the same time is actually going to end up being three ducats transferred along the way to Venice that means that we got a boost of five ducats by collecting from the Constantinople trade node rather than transferring from here into the next trade node so it is really important whenever you do decide to transfer if it's more than one trade area away that you control a majority in the connecting trade node which is transferring in your main trade node so that means if you don't have a majority in this connection here in Ragusa it's better yet to collect here rather than transfer into the Ragusa trade node and you're still getting the income from the Venice trade node at the same time as you're getting the Constantinople trade node by having merchants transfer from the Crimea as well as the Aleppo trade areas into the Constantinople trade node we increase the overall value that we're receiving in this trade node and as such also increase our income I have another scenario here from a multiplayer game where I am collecting four ducats from the Saxon trade node collecting seven ducats from the Baltic trade node and transferring automatically three ducats towards the Baltic from the Novgorod without any merchant as well as collecting again from the Lubeck trade node now I'm basically using all of my traders to collect rather than transfer you might be inclined to think that if you switch on over your trade capital into the Lubeck trade node and then you start transferring from the Saxon as well as the Baltic trade node into the Lubeck trade node this is gonna give you more income as having your capital in the Lubeck trade node increases the trade power that you have here but even with the transfer from the Saxon trade node and the transfer from the Baltic trade node we're actually getting less ducats than we otherwise would be getting and this is simply because we have very little trade value in the Lubeck trade node if we had a bit more trade value here it would be wise to just collect here and transfer from the other two parts what 
I'm trying to show by this is that sometimes it's better just collecting everywhere if you don't actually have a good trade node where you can filter all of the income into. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe as well as leave the bell button on to get notified whenever I release new guides. I also want to give a very big shout out to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you so much guys for all your support. If anybody else wants to become a channel member or a patron then you can check the links in the description. So until the next one have a great day everyone. <laughs>